Do you waste hours trying to organize your cash flow statement, time you'd rather spend with your family? And do you struggle to capture all cash coming in and cash going out in one place and fail to get a bird's eye view of your cash flow? If so, then this video is for you. Hi, I'm Cecil. I'm financial transformation coach for female entrepreneurs who want to scale the business fast. On this channel, I share with you actionable profit growth and cash flow optimization strategies. So if you are looking for profit growth and cash flow improvements in your business, then don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell right now so that you don't miss out on future new videos. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through time-tested monthly cash flow statement template. This template follows the same process I've used to help my clients who are doing revenue range from 40,000 to 40 million pounds to prepare their monthly cash flow statement in their business. So let's dive in. Step number one is to create very simple monthly cash flow statement template such as this. So what we have here is per mega profit limited is a monthly cash flow statement template. It has two sections cash inflow in green and cash outflow in red color. So under cash inflow we have four categories cash from clients, investment from owners, bank loan and investment from someone else, and government grant and subsidies. Under cash outflow you have seven categories cost of fulfillment, overhead expenses, capital expenditure, loan repayment, VAT, you might call it GST or sales tax wherever you're involved, social security contributions and corporation tax which is tax on profit. So that's the category for total cash going out in the business and then you have a net cash flow which is just the total cash inflow minus total cash outflow in the month and then you can put in your opening bank balance and this will give you your closing bank balance in the month which is just the total of opening bank balance plus your net cash flow balance in the month and this closing bank balance should equal your bank statement bank balance at the month end so you can easily create one of these or if you want to save time I'll put a link to the description below where you can download as well so let's move forward so what we want to do next is we want to download the bank transactions from the online banking software and it will look very really horrible data dump like this. I know it, it looks horrible but, but it is what it is. So is the, the date is the date of transaction, description is uh, what happened, David means gas has gone out, it's red color. And in green means cash has come in, and this is closing bank balance on the 31st of, of Jan, and your bank opening bank balance on 1st of Jan for 5,000 pounds as well. So, what we want to do is uh, in step number two is how do we how do we categorize this information, this this data into this into this column B, where you can have a bird's eye view of what's going on with your cash flow as a Toss up a button you can look at the information and go like oh this is what I need to do and this is what and this is what what's happening in my business and you can move forward you can start making decisions based on what you can see rather than just guessing okay so let's move on to step number two where we start to categorize uh, this transaction very quickly and the next step I'm going to show you how you can categorize this uh, information into cash info section so let's move on to step number two. Step number two is to categorize cash coming in, in this example, column D, into four categories I mentioned in step number one, which are these ones. So now what we need to do is to, we need to take this download and make a copy because we're going to delete some rows and some columns. So place the cursor here, press control, then you make a copy of this so we can do whatever we want with this tab so now what we do is we're going to delete column c because we don't need cash going out column for now we also don't need closing bank balance and we also don't need 
opening bank balance. So now what we have is cash come in in the month that needs to be organized into different categories. So let's first get rid of the colors. Now what we need to do next is from here highlight all the way up to here put data sort by description. Now we have categorized all the transactions by column B. So now you, you can see that the, the business has received this amount which is 31673.75 from a different bank account. And let's say this is from a, a loan or investment from the business owner. Let's highlight this in color. Let's put these values in here. So this one was 31673.75. Okay, so let's move on. So now let's say that these are all been paid by clients. So sixty two nine four two point four eight. Sixty two nine four two point four eight. Now the total is ninety four six one six. Let's check that ninety four six one six. That agrees. So that's good. Now you have absolute clarity on what's going on in your business. You have invested thirty one thousand pounds. Your customer has paid sixty three thousand pounds. Now you might well break it down much further and say, okay, this needs to be broken down into C one, two, three, four, five, or client A, B, C, D, depending on how it works. But in in a nutshell, that's it. So you've organized the cash inflow into various categories. Yes, sometimes you see government grants. If that, if if you receive that in the month, you put it in there. If you get a bank loan investment with someone else, then you put it in there. But normally, you would either you would put money in the, your cash flow in, the, in your business or you, you will receive cash from clients so that's so that's step number two step number three is to categorize cash going out in this example column C into seven different categories I've shared in step number one which are these ones now we're going to follow the same process as we did in step number two which is all about cash inflow now this time it is all about cash outflow so what we have is column C that we need to categorize on the seven sections so what we're going to do next is to highlight from here and go all the way up to here data sort by description now you have categorized transactions by type and that's crucial now you can see actually the business has been paid our business has paid the owner these values as well so I've, what I've done is I've color coded them already for you so if we add this up this come to 56 919 spot 89 56 919 spot 89 okay so now let's move on. So these are overhead expenses. 11633 spot 76. 11633 spot 76. Let's move on. These are cost of sales. 7244 spot 88. 7244 spot 48. These are also cost of sales from here to here. 12173 spot 02. 12173 spot 02. This one is paying for social security. So 259516. Here. 2595 spot 16. And then overhead expenses type 2 again. 4049 spot 52 
4049 spot 52 so now let's check this the bank this balance 94616 with this one 94616 so that's correct now we have categorized all transactions into one spreadsheet it's been organized now you can see what's going on in terms of your cash outflow in the business not every month you'll see payments going out for VAT we do it quarterly in the UK as a standard thing not every month you'll be spending on capital expenditure as well and we only pay corporation tax once a year so normally so by doing this now you have organized the cash spend in the business in the month in one sheet now you can see the full picture or get a bird's eye view of what's going on in terms of your cash outflow in the business now let's move on to step number four and we'll finish it up uh, and let's do this together so we have complete picture of what's going on in your business in terms of cash flow step number four is to post your opening bank balance in the cash flow template so let us do that so we go to the tab and we can find here opening bank balance is five thousand pounds so let's post that five thousand pounds now this is automatic formula which is opening bank balance plus net cash flow movement for the month which is five zero so five thousand pounds let's just check that first so that agrees with the extract or the import or the download from the banking software five thousand pounds that agrees so that's good and let's also check find and check that gas outflow which is red color column 94616 and 94616 as well cash come in also agrees total cash outflow 94616 cash inflow 94616 that also agrees so now this spreadsheet is correct this template is correct now you might worry let's just see it work but the net cash flow movement for the month is zero so what's happening here so what's happening is the business owner is is funding the business and taking now so that he can leave only leave five thousand pound as a closing bank balance every single month that's what he's doing so when and how he's doing that is he is for this in this example he, he's put in 31674 whereas he's taken out 56920 in the month so that he can leave the balance of five thousand pounds this automatic transfer going on every single couple of days to ensure that the bank balance agrees to five thousand pound at any given point in time now when you have this and you will have a bird's eye view of what's going on in your business and you can give this as a springboard to get you where you want to be you no longer have to and struggle to you know organize your cash inflows and outflows anymore and because you don't have to spend much time to do this you don't have to spend hours and hours to uh, figure this out you can well do this in, in half an hour you'd rather be spending time with your family right so yeah so just go ahead and try this exercise and let me know how you get on there you have it very simple and easy to use monthly cash flow statement template to organize cash flow in your business here is the summary of the steps I've said above. Step number one is to prepare monthly cash flow statement template and then download bank transactions from your online banking software. Step number two is to categorize cash coming in into four different categories. Step number three is to categorize cash going out into seven possible categories. Step number four is to post opening bank balance and then you have your monthly cash flow statement template ready for you. When you do have this, then you don't have to spend hours and hours trying to figure it out, what's going on with your cash flow, trying to organize it. You would rather spend more time with your family rather than spending more time trying to figure it out. And secondly, when you do have this, you'll have a bird's eye view of helicopter view of what's going on with your cash flow. I put a link in the description below where you can download this monthly cash flow statement template and make it your own. If you got value from this video, then like it and share it. 
don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future new videos which i publish every tuesday at 4 pm gmt your comments are my oxygen so don't forget to comment below i respond them all now i would like to turn it over to you how do you organize your cash flow statement and do you use monthly cash flow statement template let me know by leaving a comment below